Revelation 2128, from the 26th of October 1941. State of the Soul in the Afterlife Explanation for Suffering As soon as the soul leaves the physical shell its good or bad deeds have an effect in earthly life, and indeed, the soul enters an environment which corresponds to its life on earth. Luminous if its earthly life was a life of love, or lightless if it was loveless. And this new environment affects the soul's feelings and thus signifies a blissful or unhappy state. The bliss of a being dwelling in the light is inconceivable for the human being on earth, just as is the state in which a lightless soul dwells. They are torments which cannot be ended at will and which therefore trigger despair in the soul because it is completely incapable of changing its situation. And countless people on earth create this agonizing state of their souls through their way of life, and God knows their future fate in the beyond, and he would like to avert it from them and determine a different way of life for them while there is still time. For on earth the will to ascend is enough which can earn them strength and grace to steer their life into a different direction. What takes endless times in the beyond can happen on earth in a short time. A total change of thinking which can bring about earthly suffering. This is the explanation for the suffering imposed on humanity if it is completely wrong-headed and leads an earthly change which inevitably results in this agonizing state in the hereafter. Amen.